Hi everyone, it's Angel and Bonnet here. Right, so I have got a, well, I've been giving a special gift. I know. So yesterday in the post, the postman came and delivered me two new books that somebody had so kindly sent to me. How amazing. So this person is called Mary Pat Keneally. How lovely. And she has sent me these lovely books to read to my lovely friends like you. Isn't that amazing? It is, isn't it? Right, so I have got the first book. We've got Imp's Adventures and The Secret Tunnel. Ooh. Or we've got Imp's Adventures and Imp Finds a Friend. Wow, I think we should read this one, Imp Finds a Friend, because that's what lots of people are doing now, aren't they? Lots of children like you are going back to school and making new friends and seeing some of your old friends as well. So I will read this one for you. Imp Finds a Friend by Mary Pat Keneally. Ah, and there's a lovely message at the front of this book, right there on Imp's little apron. It says, for my mum, who taught me to be brave and try new things. Ah, that's so lovely, isn't it? That's like our mums. They tell us to be very brave and to try new things because if it doesn't work out, it doesn't matter because we can try again. That is so good, isn't it? So, let's begin. Imp didn't want to play alone anymore. Oh dear, look at that sad face. He's so sad. <laughs> oh no. He's building a very good tower there, isn't he? Do you build towers in nursery and school? I bet you do. I bet you're very good at it too. Will you please play with me? He asks his mummy. Oh, I'm busy right now, sweetie. Why don't you play with Hopper? Mm, she's doing something on the computer there. I want somebody I can talk to. And who can talk to me too, said Imp. When her sister came home from school, Imp ran to meet her. Mia, come play with me, please. Mia shook her head. Sorry, Imp. I'm going to my new friend Keisha's house to play. Mm, she's too busy as well. I know, she's off to see her new friend. I need my own friend, thought Imp. But where could he find someone like that? Suddenly, he had an idea. Tucked in the back of his closet was a secret tunnel. It led to a classroom full of children. Maybe he could find an answer there. Ooh, ooh. What do you think he's going to find there? Should we find out? Come on then. But the classroom was empty. Oh dear, where is everybody? said Imp to Hopper. When Imp was about to leave, he heard a voice say, Hey you, please don't go. Who's that? Can you see? <gasps> what animal do you think that is? Oh, shall we find out? 
Who are you? asked them. I'm Toby, the classroom turtle. When the kids go home at the end of the day, I get so lonely. Won't you come down? Oh, look. Wow, it's Toby the turtle. Should we meet him? I'm lonely too, thought Imp. But it was a long way down and he'd never seen someone who looked like Toby before. Um, I don't think so, said Imp. I'm busy trying to find a friend. Ooh, said Toby. Maybe I could help you find one. And maybe I could find one for me too. Hmm, what's a friend? <laughs> My sister says a friend is someone you can play with at their house. Oh, said Toby. My house is the shell on my back. I don't think anyone else will fit in here. If you could come down, maybe I can play with you until you find a friend, said Toby. Imp didn't want to go back to his lonely room. Maybe he could be brave. Okay, just until I find a friend, said Imp. Hi, I'm Imp. I'm a mouse and this is Hopper, my pet grasshopper. Ah, oh, that's lovely. They're all saying hello. Imp? Toby and Hopper played and played and played all afternoon. Wow, they're playing with bubbles. That's my favourite. I bet you like bubbles at nursery. Look. What song do we sing about bubbles and turtles? Do you think maybe we can sing that afterwards? Okay, let's finish our story first. When it was time for Imp to go home, Toby said, Please come back and look for a friend again tomorrow. Imp said, I don't have to look anymore. I already found my friend. And it's you. Ah, oh, that's so lovely. Imp and Toby are friends. <laughs> Right, well, that is the end of that story, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, because I did. It's so lovely meeting friends, isn't it? Finding new friends and going to school, and it's amazing. <laughs> right, so that was that story. And who remembers what song do we sing at nursery that has a turtle in it? Shall we sing it? Do you know it? You do? That's right, it's I Had a Little Turtle. Shall we sing that one? Are you ready? Are you ready too, Bonnet? All right, let's get ready. Get your hands ready. I had a little turtle, his name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water and ate up all the soap. And now he's got a great big bubble in his throat. Bubble. Ooh. Bubble. Ooh. Bubble. Bop. Wow, well done. Well done, everybody who joined in. Right, so, well, that is definitely the end of my story time. And I hope you enjoyed that one. And thank you again, too. Mary Pat Kennelly for this amazing new book about making friends. Right, well, that's it for me. Bye, everybody.